Hello everyone. In this lecture, we are going to see, ferritic and, martensitic, stainless steel, its significance, limitations, and usage. We have, all these courses available, on our Thinkific platform. To learn, more about these courses, register with the link given, in the description. So, that is a classification. Now let us talk about ferritic. Okay, what are the ferritic stainless steel? So, if you remember the earlier diagram where we have higher chromium percentage. So, if you see the ferritic stainless steel, they have very high percentage of chromium, 12% to 30. And the second most important thing is that they don't have nickel. So, if nickel is not added, the nature becomes ferritic. Okay. And that is the reason they are ferritic steel. Typical grade is 405, 410. Okay, you might have used it. The ferritic steel have problems in weldability. Okay. So, what are the uses of these ferritic stainless steel? We use them as lining material. We use them as tubes. Okay, not as a pressure vessel component. So, you will find this ferritic steel mainly used as a tube or a lining material okay. they're also called straight chromium because they don't have nickel so significance they have very good heat resistance good mechanical properties good magnetic properties <laughs> not good but they have a magnetic properties and that is the reason you know, they are differentiated you no know, we can differentiate them, them from austenitic stainless steel they are less expensive. That is one advantage which we have compared to austenitic because they are less expensive. So, in less uh, expensive, we are getting good heat resistance and corrosion properties. So, that is one good use. The limitation, lower ductility. They are not as ductile as austenitic. They suffer from pitting corrosion. Okay. So, pitting is a very common phenomenon when we use ferritic. Mainly, you will see the corrosion resistant lining or cladding, heat exchanger tubing. You will find these ferritic material. Okay. 